What's up, everyone? I can't believe this is already the third episode in our series, What's Up CES. Today, we're at our booth to learn more about the living brain. There is still so much unknown about the brain, but with advanced medical imaging and the diagnosis tools that we have today, we can start building a detailed map of the brain. That's just the beginning of our journey to a fully functioning virtual twin brain. Today, with our technology, we're able to reconstruct a brain in 3D based on things like MRIs and scans. How could this be a lifesaver, you may ask? Let's go through some interesting real-world examples. Let's imagine we're talking about brain tumors here. A virtual twin of your brain can help assess the exact size and location of the mass, allowing your surgeons to evaluate the safest options and protect sensitive nearby regions. One wrong cut could lead to permanent damage to key functions such as speech and memory. Another concrete example we're introducing here at our booth is how virtual twins could help improve epilepsy treatment. Epilepsy is a treatable disease, but it can be debilitating if treatment is not delivered at the right time or at the right location. For this to work, practitioners rely on sensors and probes to reconstruct a 3D map of the brain under seizing conditions. And once you have that 3D model of your brain, surgeons can use this tool to simulate the impact of treatment and reduce invasiveness of surgery. These are just a few applications. After this video, we hope that virtual twins are more tangible to you. Virtual twins might live in the virtual world, but we feel their impacts in the real world. On that note, stay tuned for more of our adventures at CES.